I'm Muhammad Alavi. I'm Mackie McCandlish. I'm Steve Fakuda. Ziad Riki. And we are designers on Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And we're watching a loading movie done by our friends over in the UK, Spob.tv. And this is one of the last things that we did in producing uh, the production of this game. This is the last thing we did. They did that it for the last couple thing. they did it for the last couple months while we were scrambling to finish, but yeah. Right. What do these guys work on? They uh they uh, also do a lot of graphics work for future, future weapons. Future weapons, that's right. Future weapons. So this level is one of the two that made it all the way to the end of production from the original script. And originally it was the very last level of that script. So it was going to have a speedboat chase and a showdown on the beach. And Al-Assad, who is sort of a secondary villain in this shipping game, uh, he was actually originally the main bad guy. Yeah, actually, this, this cargo ship actually played a pretty small role in the grand scheme of things. It was in a harbor. It wasn't even in the middle of the ocean like it is now. So uh, that was a big change. Yeah, we're seeing all the way through that ride in down to here. We're seeing a lot of mocap animation. Yeah, this is one of the first big <laughs> oh, yeah. sequences we did. And it goes right into this one. All this and, is mocap. And it's over. There it is. That, that took about an entire yeah. day of mocap, I think. <laughs> there, was, there was much debate about whether or not he should kick the door or elbow the door. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. We, we mocap spinning the wheel. It didn't. We got it in there. We, later on. Later on. on. But I like the kick too much. I had to stay. Last call. Hallway clear. So another controversial thing was uh, you're about to see like shooting guys in their sleep. This was a this was a touchy subject. Some of these containers have uh, Chinese characters on them. Is there a Kriegler one around here? I think it's to the left, actually. I'm not sure. Kriegler being our uh, our art director manages to be in every texture in the game somehow. Got two on the platform. I see them. We had a lot of discussion about whether or not this helicopter should get shot down. We decided it would make the SAS look oh, not quite yeah, as cool if they got. Right. If it got shot down early on. Yeah, there were, there were a lot of iterations of this level, actually. This level has been two years in the making. That's no exaggeration. Uh, so. at, at one point, you probably killed about 200 guys at on least, this deck. At least, yeah. It, it was, was the entire Russian army. Of <laughs> so we made the conscious decision to make it so that e not every spot in the game needs to be chock full of yeah. baddies after, uh, after yeah. the development of Call of Duty 2. So we've tried to make it more... Yeah, it paced better. Yeah, it's, it's not cranked up to 11 at all moments. We had a lot of discussions about where this level should fall in the sequence of things. Really hard to figure out, actually. We yeah. didn't seem to work with any other levels. It, it's sort of connected to one of them, but not very well. So finally, we, we cut that one and we said, well, this could be our cold open, like you see in a movie, where just you don't really. Yeah, you just start with the action and you blow the player away. It's a little harder in games though, because we have to train the player earlier. So it would be nicer if we could just start with this level. Yeah. But then players would run into walls. Although it is a it is a pretty easy level to start with. I mean, it's got a lot of action, but there's n not a whole lot of complicated stuff you have to do, and not even a whole lot of fighting. But there's a good amount of suspense, so that kind of worked out. And s speaking of uh, you know, earlier levels, very few that made it into the game. This pipe hallway is all that remains of an entire bunker level <laughs> from the beginning of the game. We take we take like the best section of a level and we make like one big awesome yeah. level out of the best sections. Yeah, it's pretty sad when the only good thing about an entire level is a bunch of pipes. <laughs> but they were good. good the, pipes. the only other level to make it through the gauntlet was uh, AC-130. Yeah. yeah. That was the other one. Actually, come to think of it, both this one and that one pretty much made it because of their tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were uh, a lot of tech that went into these. AC-130 actually appears as Death from Above in the menu. Oh, right, right. Yes, There's the Kriegler right there. Oh, did you see? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. You made it. I, I th yeah, th that missile launcher truck, I think, is also only in this level. <laughs> one of our many assets to barely make it in. <laughs> yeah, it's good That's actually true. Yeah, that <laughs> we, we have this wonderful tendency, which is I think is pretty cool, that we will build a whole complicated asset with its own mocap and animation and script, and then it'll only show up in one spot in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Not by design, but <laughs> from things getting to some degree. To some degree. Yeah. Move. Should we talk about the primary lights? Yes. Yeah, they're 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 probably the only thing that make our interiors look good because <laughs> the exteriors. Well, you get a lot of shadows from the sun and the moon from the exteriors. But for a long time, we couldn't get our interiors to look good until uh, we got these primary lights. So anytime you notice like that guy just ran through a light and he cast a shadow, that's a primary light. The hard thing at work about him is uh, they can't touch each other. Right? They cannot. 
errors. Yeah. All of, all of our shininess in the interiors is from the primary lights. Yeah. The shadows that are being cast by all the characters are from the primary lights. Yeah. And it's really hard when they can't touch each other considering there's 40 in this room alone. So imagine putting 40 primary lights that can't touch each other. It's, uh, it took a while. <laughs> it took a while. Uh, it's ironic that uh, this is one of the first levels, and this is one of the, this is one of the very first firefights actually to you have, and it's also one of the hardest ones to aim in because uh, the ship's moving constantly, which makes your aim move constantly. What is it, the ship, or your? Is it the ship or your? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going behind the curtain now, <laughs> showing the magic. <laughs> so uh, yeah, actually, the ship's not moving at all. The illusion is that the ship is swaying on the high seas, but. The ship is completely stationary. Your view, the swinging doors, the chains, the lights, even to some degree the guys on the boat, like uh, they're all moving in unison. But, the uh, position of the sun yeah, when you're outside. Oh, yeah. It's kind of hard to see here now, but this, yeah. This part used to have two guys. When we mo-capped it, there was two guys opening the door. Oh, it opens itself. <laughs> <laughs> there just wasn't enough room for that second Not guy. Not quite enough. Yeah. It's an Arabic. <laughs> yeah, the, very the, subtle reference. Very subtle reference. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to ten foot flag in the back. <laughs> we wanted to make it like a change up that you're going to go to the Middle Good Eastern level. levels right. after this. The yeah. uh, bringing the reference for the planes that are coming in. There used to be a, they used to find a dead guy who would run down there with a the laptop to send a message. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Well, even before that, there was a guy strapped to a chair who was tortured and dead. Yeah, yeah this, this and quite a lot of iterations. Jamie coming in. Enemy aircraft inbound. Shit. Yeah. So, uh, so this uh, this escape sequence is actually part of the the very first plans for uh, for the whole level. But as as plans go, you know, we wrote up something really cool, and we're like, well, how in the world are we going to do that? Oh well, we were also originally going to have we were thinking about making a first person plane experience come. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. Shoot it so you could understand exactly what was happening. Yeah, it's it's almost cooler not to know though. So anyway, yeah, for a long time, uh, a bunch of the leads were like, we, we can't do this, it's just too complicated, too much time. <laughs> so uh, being the rogue developer I am, I just kind of went off on my own for a week and, and didn't listen to any of you guys. <laughs> Good thing, though, because, you know, when we came back, we all took a look at it. It was pretty rough. It definitely didn't look anything like this, but even in its rough state, everybody was pretty excited about it. So we ended up, you know... A lot, of, a lot of sleepless nights to get this in. A lot of iteration on this part after watching average people <laughs> play it and seeing them just get hung up on everything or turn the wrong way or their friendlies got too far ahead. So Let's be honest. They could right here lost. they go left. They yeah. go left. <laughs> right here they go, right, they they go, go left, left again. <laughs> And then they left go left here. again. You're gonna get stuck on this post right here. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. these stairs right here. So, so they get oh, caught yes, on those. Yes. Yeah. Much yeah. smoothing. Yeah. There's a lot of smoothing going on. Yeah, the funny thing is... Uh, you used to be able to fall in the water here. You still can. Well, much much more difficult. It, yeah, it's a little bit more difficult, yeah. <laughs> but you still can't fall in the water if you don't make the jump. Yeah, the, the crazy thing is about that last section you just saw is it's an entire level's worth of uh, effects in that one level, which means I had to turn off the rest of the effects in the entire level to be able to get it to work. Two levels worth of effects. Yep. And that's our walkthrough of cargo ship. <laughs> <laughs>